Congratulations! You have now com- Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. Hello! I'm Al E. Gory. And I'm Ellie Fant. Welcome to Trivia Munchers Deluxe. Hey there, Munch the Tools. Can you find the units of measurement? In 1961, President John F. Kennedy started a program to try to make the United States the first country on Earth to put a man on the moon. Uh, we copy you down. Eagle engine arm is off. It took eight years of careful planning and testing, but on July 21st, 1969, the first manned lunar lander touched down on the surface of the moon. Houston Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. They're looking good here. Wow, what a trip. I'm starved. Say, Buzz, do we have any more freeze-dried ice cream? Uh, negative. Finish that at 0400 hours. Just pureed Brussels sprouts in a tube. Uh, never mind. Here we see that first fateful moment when the astronauts climb down the stairs to walk on the lunar surface. Boy, I gotta eat something. Uh, tranquility? What's that noise? Uh, that's our stomachs rumbling, Houston. Uh, roger that. And now we hear Neil Armstrong pronounce the famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for... Uh-oh. Uh, sorry, Tranquility, could you repeat that? Hey, wasn't the moon full a minute ago? Uh, Houston, I think we have a problem. Hey, 
Hey, can you munch the months of the year? Hey there, munch the tools. Say, can you munch the sports? <laughs> George Washington Carver is known for his research and experimentation in chemistry. More specifically, he is remembered for his resourcefulness in finding over 300 uses for the peanut. Among them was a process for creating valuable medicines. He also developed a method to produce soap and shampoo. He discovered you could use peanuts to create shoe polish. And he even came up with a way to make shaving cream. But Carver's greatest contribution to society was that he knew his inventions were important enough that everyone should have them. So he never took out a single patent and gave them to everyone for free. Although we shouldn't overlook that if he hadn't popularized the peanut, it might be Brussels sprouts and jelly for lunch. Hey, munch oh, those mm. planets! Oh, mm. oh, mm. Hey, munch the holidays. Do you think you can munch the days of the week? Pony Express was designed as a speedy mail service to carry important documents through the wild territory between San Joseph, Montana, and Sacramento, California. Brave couriers such as William F. Cody, Robert Haslam, and Johnny Frey were entrusted with the often dangerous mission of racing the latest news almost 2,000 miles in as short a time as eight days. Calamity Jane carried missives from Montana heading down the Oregon Trail. She fixed a flat at Horseshoe Station and pressed onward with the mail. They take a sip at Old Sweetwater and pass Independence Rock. She hurried on to Salt Lake City as she raced to beat the clock. Through the deserts in Nevada, then a delivery at Dry Well. They'd be parched when they reached Tahoe and wouldn't want to set a spell. But she couldn't linger long. She had to deliver her memento, which sounds a little silly, but it rhymes with Sacramento. She was very tired and dirty, but she got the letter through just to find it was a postcard from her Aunt Betty. <laughs> Can you eat the furniture? Oh, mm. Oh. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, yeah. Eat the colors.
Do you think you can munch the days of the week? Amelia Earhart was one of the most daring and famous aviators in American history. Not satisfied with being the first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean in an airplane, Amelia set her mind to becoming the first woman to fly across it by herself. On May 30th, 1932, she decided to try and do exactly that. Taking off from Nova Scotia, she flew for 20 hours and 40 minutes, breaking all sorts of records. She was the first person to ever fly across the Atlantic twice, the first woman to fly solo, and then set the new record for crossing in the shortest time. A fuel leak forced her to make an emergency landing in a pasture in Northern Ireland. How far have you come, lassie? From America! And how was your trip? A piece of cake! Can you find the units of measurement? Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Say, can you find the kitchen utensils? Oh, mm. 